All right, this is a short video on wet shaving with the traditional straight razor. Today I'm going to be using this. It's an HMC cutlery, manufactured in 1923 in Massachusetts. All right, first thing I'm going to do is a little stropping, a little bit on the canvas side. on the leather. I'm rubbing the leather with the palm of my hand. This helps condition the leather and it warms it up which helps dropping a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to go through the process of lathering up my face using an old mug with some Williams shaving soap, wetting a brush, and I've been taking a little bit of this Kiss My Face shaving cream. Mixing it with the Williams soap. And I really like the lather I've been getting with this. I do a little bit of work in the mud there, but I really like the face lather because it gives the Whiskers a little more time to soften up. All right, ready to go with the razor. Grip I use on there. Okay. Now with a straight razor, traditional straight razor like this, usually I do two passes, three passes. I can do it usually in two passes with a little touch up. The first pass is usually just to uh, reduce the hair and then the second pass is the, the really uh, clean shave. You can hear the sound that that's making. This is a hollow ground razor, so it's very thin and vibrates and makes that sound.
is switching hands over here to my left hand. And that's the first pass done. A lot of people stretch their skin. Uh, it's supposed to make it easy for you to shave. It's supposed to do a better job of it. For example, pulling your skin up like this and then going down like that. But I find I just don't need to do it. I guess I'm lucky. All right. Second pass. And for a traditional straight razor like this, a lot of people find that uh, a more watery lather works better. Back here to my right hand. A little confusing because you're watching me in a mirror. I'm sure there are people out there that are going to think my technique is uh, rather crude, but I've only been doing this for about a month, so you'll have to cut me some slack in that, in that area there. All right, left hand. And there you have it. A shade with a traditional vintage straight razor.